So Activision just confirmed that Nadia and Z Laner are cheating in Call of Duty. Yay! Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, and let's actually check this video out. Roll it. I've uncovered Activision openly admitting that Symphony, Nadia, Zliner, and all these big streamers are cheating. Oh, Recently, dang. there's been a huge bit of drama concerning a well-known Call of Duty streamer by the name of Doug is Raw. Yeah! Damn, yo, how tall is Doctor Doctor Doctor? This 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 this. Respect respect respect. Uh, I, I believe he's like seven feet tall, bro. Like everybody's looking short uh, around him, though. Crazy. For allegedly getting caught cheating playing Warzone, the hilariously enough, as I've said, inadvertently exposed Activision into admitting that people like Nadia, Symphony, Slanner, and most of these big streamers and content creators are in fact cheating, and Activision lets them get away. Bro, 1950s we had baby boom, 2020s we got cheaters boom. <laughs> like, like the video if you know these are facts, but Be with it. So. It all started when Doug is Raw posted this clip on Twitter and he was so confused about what happened. Whatever he is, I dislike it. Oh, Are you sure what's going on right now? Damn, be getting material right now? Oh, one 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 Oh my god. Okay, I, 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 okay, I seen this it. clip, right? He, uh, it's the whole lobby here. Might be. The enemy is like invisible. And this is to do with Ricochet, if I'm not mistaken. I could easily have six kills. Cheater, yeah. He's invisible for me. Somebody clip it. I don't even think he's cheating. He's just invisible. Somebody clip it. He's invisible? He's invisible. And he was making no noise. And Ricochet is protecting real players against cheaters. So the guy that went invisible, apparently, uh, rumor has it that he was not cheating, but it's Doug is Rod that was cheating. Oh, shit! Oh, and he shit. thinks that he was cheating, but it's not that that guy was cheating. It's that this guy, Doug is Rod, was cheating. Bruh. Confusion 101. Let's solve your confusion real quick. And I was just getting hit. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> As you can it. see, the player was invisible in the clip and Doug was killed and he was so confused about what was happening. Little did Doug know, but this video not only exposed him for cheating, ricochet anti-cheat mitigations. These are gameplay adjustments we can make to constrain oh, the shit. gameplay experience of verified cheaters, such as taking away their weapons with this arm or here's Logan. what happened to Doug. Yay! And, and and I remember right when they first introduced this cloaking technology straight from like Area 51. Dog, like this is like watching Area 51 documentary, bruh. Like what the hell is going on in gaming right now, bro? But uh but yeah, they introduced that and ever since that I didn't hear about it as much. And right now it's coming in full circle. Everybody's talking about cloaking and ricochet working, I guess. I mean that's good though. That's good. But let's see what happens Doug next. Raw making legitimate players invisible to cheaters with cloaking. So yeah, Doug is raw is in the gulag. He got his ass kicked by an invisible player because the anti-cheat ricochet recognized Doug is raw may or may not have been cheating and it made the opposing player invisible to offset Doug's cheating. But this mm. has started a chain of events that has led Charlie Intel and Modern Warzone who are both known Activision shill accounts. They get invited to all the Call of Duty events. They got close ties with Charlie until was apparently like banned or not necessarily banned, but he was kicked in his nuts uh, by Activision and he was told to like go pound sand and not come back. Right now, I feel like, th but then I heard that he wasn't re invited out. I, I could be wrong, but he was not being invited out because he was being a little bit too critical. But I guess uh, he started sucking their D and I think uh, they're gonna invite him out the developers and Activision themselves to accidentally admitting that Activision knows of people like Nadia, Symphony, Zlander, etc. who are actually cheating and they let him get away with it. After this clip was posed by Doug is Raw, is he was getting money, accused man. for cheating and people were throwing up this ricochet anti-cheat note and whatnot to say this is what happened Doug, you're cheating. And of course the COD Shield accounts and friends of F Doug you, all Doug. came to defense of him as they usually do when someone is busted for cheating for it, and it was it, one of their friends or a Call of Duty type of big accounts which is hilarious and funny because them trying to defend Doug completely just undermined them all and escalated to this one tweet right here by Modern yeah. Warzone that now proves that most of these big streamers are in fact cheating and Activision knows about it. Sources with Call of Duty confirmed to me that this was not Ricochet at work. People were thinking the invisible player that killed Doug in the Gulag was from the cloaking feature of Ricochet anti-cheat. But the only times I've seen cloaking work is after a player was shot. Mm. So if you're not- Dog, this is like straight from Area 51, mate. <laughs> what the actual F though? I feel like that this is a new version of uh, uh, Ricochet, right? Ricochet, but yeah, they are defending him right now. And everybody's like- Everybody's like all over the place right now. And you know what, guys, if you're into conspiracies, if you're into the UFO content, 
I upload daily on this channel. This is my second channel, guys. I would love to have you around. I will pin it in the comments. We be streaming a lot over on Twitch. Definitely follow if you got Twitch. All right, let's get back to the content. Not reading between the lines, let me explain how this tweet just threw everyone under the bus for cheating. Yeah. Doug here from Modern Warzone has connections with Activision, as he says, that told him Doug isn't cheating. Not only did Modern Warzone say his connection with Call of Duty said he wasn't cheating, Charlie Intel also stated the exact same thing. The clips going around this week showing invisible players in the gulag like the clip for Doug is Raw is not ricochet cloaking feature. It's Dang. a bug that is going to be fixed. Sources have also confirmed to me Doug is Raw is not cheating. Nor oh shit! It was Activision all along? Nah, bro. Say you swear to God, bro. So it's like the response came from Activision and they were like, nah, bro, it's not Ricochet, but it is Ricochet. Okay, and right now it's like, it is all over the place. Like, what do you guys believe in? Do you think this is not Ricochet or do you think it's Ricochet? If it is Ricochet, that confirms that he's cheating, right? Because uh, Ricochet's job is to make innocent players be invisible when they are in a fight, dogfight against cheaters with accused or detected cheaters in this case doug is raw is uh, the detected cheater and the guy that went invisible he was not a cheater he was like a innocent player <laughs> right uh but they're saying that clip is not ricochet cloaking feature which means that guy that we think that was innocent was actually cheating according to charlie intel and according to modern warzone or was ricochet activated in the video What's funny about this as well is that they are vouching for Doug is raw like as if they are swearing on the Bible, but what they don't seem to realize is that Grandpa Hacks, who is a known hacker hunter on YouTube and social media... Okay, Charlie, we believe you. I mean, they just want to be sucking their... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to be sucking their BBC bundle though, you know? ...has found that Doug is raw has a past of being banned for hacking and cheating in online oh, games. Oh, God! But okay. For the benefit's sake, let's just say that their Call of Duty contacts and the people that they talked to were correct and Doug wasn't cheating and Ricochet yeah. was not activated. However, if you have connections that come to you someone's defense, like Doug here to clear his name, and you got Modern Warzone saying he has friends at Activision that told him that he wasn't cheating, why haven't these people at Activision that are defending Doug now, that you know about, that are saying that he wasn't cheating, never ever came to defense to people like Nadi or Zlaner or so many other big name streamers who have been accused of cheating for hundreds of times and throughout the years. So they'll defend Doug, who's not even that big yeah. comparably, but not the others? So by a mission of not defending Nadi and such, they're openly admitting without even meaning to that those people are cheating. It's only logical to make this conclusion. Defend Doug, who's not that big, on his very first time ever being accused of cheating. But not the biggest names in Call of Duty and the streamers and all the big YouTubers that you invite to these events to help publicize uh, your game. I would say, <laughs> pump the brakes real quick though. Now it doesn't, okay, I see what you're saying, but it, and we all know, let's, let's agree on this, right? Yeah, Nadia 100% uh, cheats, right? Like, let's be real. Maybe now she had a change of heart and maybe she's like, I'm gonna be, a little less strong independent right but still i'm gonna be strong independent i would go ahead and get a bbl right now yeah go get your bbls go get them go get them botox and all that but like we all know she cheated uh or and she uh currently i'm not sure though currently i'm not sure but she cheated in the past right but this one doesn't mean if they defend doug it doesn't mean that uh like uh that it's confirmed that nadia or zlaner cheats or not cheats right on this argument but we know that they cheat but it's just that you cannot say just because like they are currently defending doug and they didn't defend nadia and zlaner uh, that you know all of a sudden like it's confirmed by Activision if, if that if that makes sense But I understand the point that he's making though. I understand the point he's making because you can't defend them because they're cheating and Activision just admitted it <laughs> Yeah, Got yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this, I, I mean, yeah, the, the, the point he's making, I get it, though. I get it, but... Proves Activision is complicit in the cheating and corruption of Call of Duty multiplayer and Warzone with these streamers. Sources will defend Doug is raw, saying he wasn't cheating. So cool, he's not cheating. But these sources will not defend all the other huge, bigger streamers who have been accused of accused cheating, of cheating yeah. with so much proof. So therefore, by not... Okay, you know what? I'm warming up to the idea right now. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm warming up to this uh, point by yours truly, Captain Canada. Eight thoughts, eight thoughts, eight thoughts. Protecting them by not defending them, they are inadvertently saying they are cheating. 
and we can't defend them. I don't think it's very hard to believe any of this at all. Streamers and social media influencers are it's the so, best well, marketing so much tool money, Activision yeah. has for Call it's of money, Duty, bro. and they don't even have to pay them a dime. If these they, they just pay for their hotel for flying them out, right? And then they give them like early access and they don't even give them like too big of an early access. I, I feel like back in the days, like I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around, but like you ever, you ever heard about the fact that like White Boy 7th Street and some big YouTubers, I believe Ali at T-Martin, they were being paid like more than 10 grand. That's like back in the days, oh, I believe around Black Ops 3 timeline, right? Uh, and, and yeah, like Activision would pay out YouTubers and big uh, social media influencers to play the games early, post the game early. But but after that, they found out that these seconds would be posting it regardless though. So why waste money? Let's invite them out, okay? Let's uh, get them on sugar. There's a lot of sugar there, bro, like Skittles. There's like uh, like chocolates left and right, pizza. They, they got a lot of carbs there. So they like put them in nice hotels. It's like, you know, temporary uh, fake ass heaven, let's just say, right? Actress in heaven, they put them there right and they let them play the the call of duty games early and then these kids are booming like dopamine is firing the receptors are lighting up like a christmas tree and then they post uh, the the gameplay yeah. and this is how they make their money and whatnot i mean understandably like on youtube it's like especially with new games it's all about like who get to post first 99% of the time, I mean, if you have a decent channel, if you have a big channel, obviously, dog, like, if you post it day one, if you post it, like, if you're first to post the gameplay, huge advantage, though, huge advantage, so, uh, they understand that, and they're like, these seconds would be posting regardless, I'm talking about, like, YouTubers, these seconds would be posting it regardless, so, why not? Let's not pay them, but let's invite them. So it's a lot of money in the in the pool right now. Um, and Activision definitely don't want to be uh, calling out cheaters and perma banning them, if that makes sense. There's just too much money involved, guys. These streamers are cheating using aimbots, wall hacks, or whatever that helps them to look wait amazing. Like gotta, if they're I gotta link you a video right after this one, which, uh, wait for it. They're super for awesome it. Call of Duty gamers, and they're having a great time playing the game, dominating lobbies. Activision would never stop this. It's great publicity for their game, and people that don't know any better will buy the game because they are seeing how awesome it could be to have fun and kick everyone's ass like their favorite streamers are doing. Unfortunately, this has now led to an epidemic of cheating in Call of Duty. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's not just an epidemic. It's like a pandemic, and uh, I always would say this, bro. 1950s, we had baby boom. 2020s, we got cheaters boom, though. <laughs> As the more people cheat and do better, the more people feel the need to cheat to compete with everyone who's cheating. True. There really is no answer to this. It's like cannot beat them, join them. But guys, you do not join them. Okay, this is, there are a lot of things in life that if you cannot, you you can apply this rule if you cannot beat them join them but not with this one not in this one bro like that's just like come on man that's not the way to get your dopamine dog like imagine your mama carrying you for nine months you come out and all uh, back in the days we'd be like mommy 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 i need to get my me next week i need to get me next week and then fast forward 20 years later you're like uh honey you can wait i need to cheat first in games like come on bro it doesn't work like that bro except just not play the game. Activision is going to do whatever they're going to do, and they're never going to admit that there's any epidemic of cheating because it would hurt their stock prices and they would lose money. At the same time, all these Call of Duty buddies and all these big accounts and all these big streamers are just going to protect themselves and protect their friends, and nor would they ever throw one of their own under the bus, unless your name is Modern Warzone or Charlie Intel, and in this video, as I proved, they did accidentally Damn. and inadvertently did show that they are actually all being protected by Activision, and they are cheaters. They are. They Personally, are. I, mean, I think... They, they, it, it's like the deep pockets so much too much money involved uh they don't want to ruin their relationship with activision right uh, and charlie until modern warzone they want to be invited out by activision and listen like i'm not i'm not one of those sickers that would like uh let's say that they should not be invited out i get it it's their business right they're gonna do everything that they can in their power to make the most amount of money and be invited out I mean, fair, you only live once, life is short, like, they want to play the game, they want to promote the game, but I mean, like, try to be a little bit more genuine with the with the community, right? That's uh, that's basically the biggest argument that I'm seeing from a thoughts, uh, from you guys, and from, like, literally everybody, right, that, that sees through the, the, the bull squash, but it's like, too much money involved, man, and this is that video that I wanted to link you, man, this is an absolute insane clip. 
This literally just happened. Call of Shame, Bad Boy Beeman. Both of them are fighting right now. Both of them are going at each other. Click on this video. On the left, though, Swag was caught cheating with wall hacks as well. Uh, check out both of these, and I will see you right there.